Hey, hello everybody. Um, sorry for the massive gap in between this video and the last one, um, but I am here now. Let's crack on. Um, I'm going to do resampling and sampling on this one, so here we go. Um, resampling is pretty much just another way of saying re recording, um, and what it does is just records every part that you're re-recording um, it puts it all onto one uh, into one file so it can then, if I were to resample these three tracks here it'll put them all onto one uh, track and then it frees up the ones that were being used here um, yeah so let's let's do it uh, this is the loop from the last video and I'm going to bounce down, which is another way of saying resample, um, these three tracks here. I might be about to get a cat jump in front of me, so just bear with me if that happens. Um, right. Yeah, so we're going to bounce down these three. she comes yay <laughs> ladies and gentlemen that was Dink my cat right um uh, okay concentrate concentrate <laughs> um right there's two ways of bouncing down first way do it through the TRG-16 choose a pad that you don't want, you don't need that one will do hit edit and hit the pad and then it's as simple as hitting the resample button and then in the next page you hit record there but before you do all that there's just a couple of things it's worth just doing beforehand um, <clears throat> the loop marker, this blue chap, chap, I keep saying chap, this blue thing <laughs> up here um, determines the length of time that is going to be re resampled, so I just want to do just that much, so I've got it set from one to three. Um, the other thing is, if you're going to bounce anything, uh, I find it better if, if, just before you do it, just boost the out channel not like to the top you could do but it'll probably distort if that's the effect you want then go for it by all means but um so I'll put it kind of halfway in between zero and the top um just because when you resample on this it tends to come out a bit quieter for some reason. Uh so yeah boost that go back in here choose the pad that you want to use, hit resample and it's telling you what bars it's going to resample from um, and literally just hit record and that is the waveform of those three parts all bounced together. Um, you can look at it in time, see this thing here time, you can see the time or you can do it in bars so it kind of for me that's a bit easier because you can tell where the beats are and everything um, <clears throat> and frames yeah that's not something I tend to delve into but um, so there we go uh, I don't know if you can hear that on the end but Right at the very end, there's a little clip, a little sort of t that I don't want in there, um, which will enable me to show you the whole edit thing. So, you just choose the part that you want to edit, like drag and over the, the section, and then uh, you can zoom in to that selection there, and you can keep going and going and going. Uh, selection. 
and that last little bump there is what I want to get rid of. So just select it and then in volume you can fade out. So if I come out a little bit, play it from here, it shouldn't have a clip on the end. Yeah, cool. It has a clip there just because of where I've started it playing, but the end is fine. Uh, zoom out. Cool, right, okay. Um, so once you're happy with it, uh, save it. Um, from within this page, you can edit and all sorts. You could chop. You could just use one hit. You could uh, select that. Uh, use the trim function so it will trim everything either side uh, of what you've selected. Like that. Um, if you do do something you don't want to do, you can undo all of that. But unfortunately, I think I've just undone the um, clip edit at the end there. Yeah. Okay, so let's zoom back in quickly. And fade that out again. Right. Um, save. Let's call that stabs. Oh, yes please. Um, okay, so once you're on that page, then that pad will trigger that sound. Um, you can have it, so you just hit the pad and it will play the whole thing all the way through, even if you just let go uh, on the trigger there. If you put it to hold, it will only play it for as long as you hold the pad down and loop. It will play it round and round and round until you let go. Uh, that's the direction it's going to play in. Um, groups. You can assign each of these pads to a group one or group two or, or no groups, and it means that whatever's if you've got a sample playing that's in group one, and then another sample starts that's in group two, they won't play together. So whichever one's playing first will be cut off by the second one. So that's useful for hi hats if you want to do the open and closing hi hats. Um, I'm going to set that to off. And volume pan. I'm probably actually I'm going to boost the volume up to the top because of that whole bounce down volume issue. Uh, that should make it back to how it was. Attack tells you how quickly it's going to start going to come into uh, full volume. So if I put the attack right up there, you see it fading in there and. And release does it the other way around. When you let go of it, that's how long it takes to uh, to stop. <clears throat> um, cool. So right there is that sample. Now I'm going to choose track six. Go back into song, and I'm going to have to turn. This is a, a pattern now, and because I don't want to, I could record into that. Um, but then obviously every pattern 3 is going to have whatever I record into it. So I'm going to drag that back to there, turn it back into a part, and record those stabs. And that long line there is the sample. That is those three parts, one, two, three, all in one thing. So we can get rid of them now. Let's move them out of the way. And cool. Um, I copy this one over because originally this the first 
uh, the whole loop of that has got those two notes on the end um, but then these three don't have the two notes in so if you want to recreate that um, on this second time round just simply drag it back at the end so it won't play those last two notes um, right okay very quickly the other way you could have done this instead of going into this TRG16 um, you can do the same resample function but through uh, the synth so if you choose, I've moved 4 out of the way here so let's choose 4 and come down to this page here um, and with your mod button here move it down to sample um, <coughs> then in effect that record button does the same thing as the TRG16 did it opens it up on sample rather than resample but hit resample and you're in exactly the same situation um, if I hit record hold on a second I do it wrong, that's how you do it wrong. Um, resample, there we go. Go for it. Cool, now that's resampled the same thing. Um, I'm not going to worry about the clip on the end, I'm just going to save it as random name, that'll do. Now you can play it back on the keyboard instead of playing it back on the pads. This is useful. Um, it's not what I want for this particular demonstration, but because uh, also you can put all the effects that you'll be able to put on synth on this sound, so it's going to sound different now. As you can hear, um, higher up the keyboard you go, the faster it will play, and the lower the slower it'll go, etc., etc. But as I say, I don't actually want that for this one, so. Um, right, I'm going to have to be quick because I'm running out of time But um, so that's the other way you can do it and then that gives you a load of options to, to add, then add effects and whatever to the sample um, let's just bring this back down again right, really quickly resampling, uh, not resampling, sampling is uh, just recording straightforward so you can use if you've got a phone use the mic if you've got a touch then you're going to need a pair of headphones um, with a mic on them um, and uh, with the last update you can now hear a click or you can hear the song playing back in your headphones or through the uh, earpiece whilst you record which is pretty cool um, I'll just do a really rough really rough example um, hit mic and it'll just sample for as long as you let it sample basically so www.decoy.co.uk yeah shameless self promotion cool and then that is my voice right there www.decoy.co.uk yeah cool um, Save, random, yep, done. And same, the same with um, as a sample I had, you can record, you can draw that in there. W, W, Bosch, or I could have recorded it in. So, www.decoy.co.uk yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, right, that's a really quick um, example of it, I'm afraid, because I'm running out of time here. But um, uh, I hope I haven't missed anything out. Sorry if I have, and I'll sort it in the next video. Um, feel free to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Sorry it's been so long since the last video. Um, take it easy and I'll see you soon.